Hello there. My name is Tom Rum. Welcome to Ever Crisis News. This is Night Bites, where we do some news about the little and not so little updates for Final Fantasy Ever Crisis. Wow, that is a um, interesting bit of trailer we just came across there. Let's go over everything that's happening. It's the 9th of October, the 10th of October over here if you're in the UK. It's about 5.40 in the morning here, so let's go over everything as it is very late. We have had a, a few nice things drop for us. To start with, we have had a new countdown. It's full. I say countdown. It's a count up. It's been 400 days since the game came out. For the next eight days that you log in, you get access to these lottery boxes. What do these lottery boxes give you? Well, they're all pulls. You can either get three different chances to get a type of five star pull, whether that's for seven and crisis core, for first soldier, or just for Sephiroth himself. And we'll explain why that is by himself going forward shortly. And, or you can get the 10 pull for four stars and above. Let us know what you think is going to happen and let us know if you can in the Discord how your pulls go for the next eight days of getting some free t uh, tickets. To celebrate 400 days since the game came out, we've also been given some extra missions. Now, I've been sure not to collect these just yet, just so you can have a little look through, but if you do a battle with any units, you will get access to some free pulls. So there's about 130 tickets just here alone, locked to 10 per character. Plus 20 tickets, uh, 20, 10 for giving, uh, collecting from Highwind, and 10 for just for logging in. This will be really simple, and honestly, I recommend doing this. Even if you don't like one of the characters, just do a quick fight, lowest level, just make it, get it done. It's going to help you out going forwards. What else has been implemented to the game? Well... We've got some events, but I feel like we should probably discuss what's actually left the game. For those who don't know, we were having an anniversary last month, and we had four Limit Break banners. We're down to just one. The one that we have left is Teethers. It's actually quite an interesting weapon, an interesting outfit. So if you haven't gotten it already... You've been considering, should I, shouldn't I? I would recommend it, especially if you love using the magic version weapons off of Tifa. And if you want to try and be lucky and try and go for Kate's, uh, Kate's weapon for ultimate. Now, Kate's ultimate weapon has also been on the Halloween banner that was mentioned last week. But we have another banner here. Yes, we have Yuffie's banner with a beautiful play on Red Riding Hood, with Yuffie getting the little red reef, and an outfit based on Red 13. I'm going to leave it to the banner of you to go over most of it. Outside of it is a magical ice weapon. It is an ice arcanum outfit. And as of right now, this is the strongest magical ice weapon in the game. If you like spending, well, there's three times pull, on this uh, banner here, it's only 300 red gems for a temple. Honestly, it is really worth it. If you are willing to spend a minimal amount, I would recommend that this is a place to go for it. It's far better than compared to something like here, which is 1500 gems, even though this is still worth it. In comparison, it's much more wanting to obviously go for this. What else has come into the game? Well, with a Halloween event and a new Halloween banner, you can imagine the Halloween updated event has updated. Yes, if we go into events, you can see under exchange that we have got 
white macarons, which is a new store that we can go through and purchase. It's gonna be worth doing. The most noticeable thing, thing here is going to be that we've got 100 memories for Matt somewhere along the line, just here. And we have a new free weapon for Matt here, the Candle Rapier. It's not anything special, it's the same as always. It's a 290% weapon with a bit of extra stats, but it is a nice little bonus for those of us that just need a little bit of an extra kick in the back. You can get some extra magic branding stones here, which is quite nice, they've put some in. I've got two sets here, 10 from the first set that came through, then orange macarons came in, and 10 from the white macarons set. That's why it just shows up twice. If you go through the fight, you will now see that there is a fifth co-op and some extra solos in here. It should be noted that under the EX3, we have heard that there is an interesting mechanic that has been put in there. If you're trying to use a certain cloud that has access to AOE hits, this also just prevents, I also recommend just not using AOE here, hint, hint. If you want to find out what happens, yeah, go and use it in this fight. See what mechanic comes up. Let us know what you think about it. Kind of want to leave a bit of a surprise for those who want to go through it themselves. So that's the battles and the, most of the events, but you may have noticed in the events that there was something else here. Yes, it's a battle ranking. Battle ranking number five to be precise. And this is for magic content. Yes, we had to look at it. We thought it was actually going to be magic for just one of the bosses and both for the ice. But it turns out that by the time you go through and do everything, you will need magic DPS to get the best scores. This will explain why we got Vincent on the most recent banner, or not most recent, the recent before that, uh, for one boss, and Yuffie for the other boss. I'm not going to go into too much about what you need to do in here, outside of I would recommend noting that you can't PDF down in these bosses, that has been made immune, and work with the lowest HP possible get your good score in and then increase HP slowly. That's how we found to get really nice scores and it will help you get a better score overall. If you want some more information like how to do battle rankings, pop into the Discord. I think we can explain a bit more in there. If you want to go into this for gems, there's about 4,000 gems, maybe just a little bit more in battle ranking alone. If you get up to rank 200, which is the top uh, difficulty level, when challenging these bosses together. The scores from each of these will be combined and that will affect your ranking. That's why my rank is so low at the moment is because I haven't actually gone in and done it properly yet. I'll just hit one boss at once. Now, that would be the big news if it wasn't for the fact that I mentioned, not even mentioned, I showed another video at the beginning. So I'm gonna just Throw it back up. See if I can get it up on my screen as well, because you know, Streamlabs isn't the smartest of things. And let's just have a little look, shall we? Is oh boy, is this an announcement worth looking at? ちは育った世界を知る理解できる人は永遠に優しい。たとえ相手が誰であれ、俺がお前を動揺させるなら。あっち、助けろ。Yes, you may have seen it, but now you've seen it properly. We have got an amazing, amazing new chapter coming out. The First Soldier, Episode 2. What does this mean for the game going forwards? Well, I 
don't actually know from what we understand this is a brand new story same as the first soldier has been throughout what i do know is that this is going to be ultimately it's going to be the story going uh, looking into sephiroth getting his sword and the secrets behind it it's also going to be introducing a young angel now we don't know if angel is going to be getting access to a actually being a buildable character or just a playable character now we say buildable or playable because if you don't know we've had adult sephiroth in a collab before and that was a playable character but it wasn't buildable we couldn't actually build and work on him so we don't know if this is going to be a new unit for us or not it would make sense if it is a new unit because this time last year sephiroth dropped so giving us a brand new unit would be along the lines of what they would do but that would be another unit for us to try and build so soon after anniversary let's see what happens let's hope you guys have seen all the video you've seen the second half i just showed that at the beginning of, of the video and you can see there's nothing actually special outside of just an introduction to angel hewley and looking directly to us and giving us that face that's something we're going to remember it's weird seeing him without an extra wing if you know you know this has been the news this has been me letting everybody know what's been going on let us know if this was good to you let us know if this was actually uh, interesting and if you want to see more of these videos we are trying something new out as you might have realized this is night bites has been something that i've been doing for uh, the nightlight channel night has been focusing on the main videos and i have been covering a lot of the new stuff that he hasn't got the time to really put in in the background for that was as he has a full-time job on top of that uh, i hope you are enjoying the videos as i have been enjoying making them and we'll let people know what's coming up i think the next video is going to be coming out is the yuffie announcement or oh, we saw it with the outfit and the banner and we'll do a little review on that who's going to be doing it we don't know it should be nightlight but we'll see what happens this has been tom rom have a lovely time and i'll see you the next time i'm in a video goodbye